YouTube. Welcome to episode 33. It feels like I've been on 30 to 33 forever. What's going on? It is the 28th, I think, 28th of April. It is Wednesday. And uh, I'm Linda, and this is my philosophy channel called 144 Hobbies. Yeah. So I hope everyone is doing fine because I am. Um, I am completely unprepared. I have quite a lot of whips. But it feels like I've only worked on one project for forever, for, for like almost all of April. But still, I have been touching a few others as well. Um, so we're going to talk whips and we're going to talk mania plans. Yes, I have quite a lot of haul and I don't understand why. Well, I guess it's ordered stuff from before, which is still dropping in. Um, so yeah, uh, I think I'm gonna, um, I will repeat some of the whips, I think, because the last floss tube, I was stitching and just throwing in some pictures. So I guess you will just have to, you will just see some of the stuff I did earlier in the month. Um, so let's just skip everything. Let's, you know, start with the whips. So I have my calendar here. I have writing a little bit. Uh, last month I, I planned ahead which things I was going to, to stitch. And that didn't work out very well. So now I've gone back to writing down what I have been working on that specific day. So um, let's just say that uh, just in the beginning of April, just I guess some days before, uh, I joined a challenge uh, in the um, Randall Spangler Stitch Along um, group, uh, which was called like uh, Rush April or something like that. And uh, I was supposed to just stitch on one Randall Spangler for all of April. And we're still in April, but I have been trying to stitch only on that. Uh, Randall Spangler design. Uh, I have, as I said, touched a few others, but I have been quite manamagos. Manam Never mind. I have tried, really tried to stick with that one. And it is the mini. I have all my scroll, scroll bars, bars here. Uh, it is mini dragon in the morning. It's this way. Whoops. My husband said to me when he hears me say whoops, it's never a good thing. <laughs> so this is what I got to do in April. It's, I'm so pleased. I had stitched this corner when I started. So all this I have done in April. Um, and I'm so glad I, I found the dragon. So this, his back is going here and this is his ears. Um, this is 25 count, the EC guide, uh, even weave and I'm stitching, I'm 10 stitching using two threads over one or half crosses, I think. I don't know if you can see that. 
Uh, it's gonna, it's hard to film that close, but from a distance, it's hard to see that it's half cross stitches. So it goes quite fast, actually. I think I put in, well, let's say in the beginning of the month, I didn't write down my stitches. I just wrote down that I was stitching it, which days. And some, I think it was like, when did I start writing down my stitches? Um, on the 11th of April. So half through the month, I just felt, it's so typical me. I go do something else build models, uh, do some sewing and knitting, whatever. Then I go back to my cross stitching. I go cross stitch, maybe chatelaines, mirabilias, and all of a sudden I come back to my heaven and earth and full coverage pieces, which I so much love. So I went to the fanatic, full coverage fanatics and prepared the bingo board because that was just a lot of fun to do. And then I realized I need to start counting my stitches. So from in the middle of April to now, I have put in over 13,000 stitches on mini dragon in the morning. And as you not, you don't know that maybe, but uh, this past weekend I had vacation. So I was off for three days plus the weekend. So I was stitching quite a lot. So most of the stitches were done that weekend. So that was that. And maybe you want to see how mini dragon in the morning is going to look like. Well, I guess you can see it on the intro page or my stitch along stitch and chat video. You can see how the finished picture will look. Um, so yeah. Um, Whipco, uh, the numbers that were called for April, April was number three and 21. And for me, that was softest steel, my heaven and earth, which was nice. And then it was Anne Morrison again. And I think that's the last time Anne Morrison will be called. However, since I guess I'm the kind of person and I know I'm not the only one, uh, <laughs> I don't stick to my plants. So I was supposed to touch and Morrison like at least five days or five days or at least finish April's part of the stitch along. And I didn't. I only stitched, stitched on it for like two very short days when I was working the weekend and that light blue is so hard to see but I finished the A with the swirls and the B with the swirls and then I started doing the underline and it goes from A to G I think uh, so yeah now I'm behind on the stitch along but it's not that I don't like it I think uh, it looks very nice. I love the the thread, the Algier Soie 103 is very nice. It's very shiny, but I'm stitching it on 45 count, two over one with one thread of silks. And I think my limit is there. It's very tiny. And you won't see any better than that. But that's at least I stitched a little bit on it. And I think that when I work weekends, I will try to stitch on that. So when I have like my lunch or in the morning or like after work an hour or so, I can stitch on that for a little bit. This is how Anne Morrison will look like. So it's a stitch along. It is the anniversary for traditional stitches. So it is a special edition and limited. <clears throat> it 
And since I'm very much eager to stitch on my full coverage pieces, I'm not sure how much of the whip go I will continue doing at the moment. I know I'm boring, but I need to stitch what my heart's desire or I will just not stitch. But however, the other number called was soft as steel, which made me very happy because in the beginning I focused on soft as steel and uh, I'm also in the challenge 21,000 stitches in 2021 and uh, I'm not halfway, but I'm getting there. However, however, I made another goal, which I'm very pleased with. I wanted to finish two pages this year and I wanted to get to the top left corner of the design. Like I wanted to get to page one and finish that. It has been a very big like hurdle or yeah. And I finished page one. So I finished the two pages. There is one page here and there is one page up there. So I've reached to the top and I'm very pleased with that. So I'm, I might, I'm thinking Friday, I was supposed to be off Friday and then I thought, then I will just start uh, stitching on the next page. So I, you know, get to, you know, get past f this finish, you know, uh, but uh, I was called in to do some overtime at work. So I need to do that. So maybe Friday evening I can spend some time on this and maybe get, I don't know, four or 500 stitches at least. So you can't see the full page, but uh, I mean the full design, but I'm very pleased with that. So that was that. And yeah, in the beginning of the month, I was stitching on my shadow lane, the poison garden. Um, I reached a place where I felt a little bit, was a little bit difficult because the thread is very thick according to the weave. And then I just, you know, got into the full coverage mode. So I haven't stitched more on it, but I would like to show you anyway, because it's so damn beautiful. Oh my God. Let's see. It is huge, I'm telling you. This is a big piece. Wow. <laughs> it is so beautiful. So this is what I've stitched in the beginning of the month. And there are some more of the Jessica stitches I need to finish up here. And then I will do the same on the other corner. And then I can start with the poison flowers. But what do you think? Oh God, it's so big. <laughs> yeah, it's huge. But it's really, really, really beautiful. I just need to, yeah, I beat as I go. I'm sorry. Um, let's rewind. The softest deal is stitched on 27 count. Linda, I think it's called. Uh, yeah, and it's full cross one over one with DMC threads. Now the shadow lane is stitched on 28 count even weave and it's all kinds of threads. I bought the package from European cross stitching company and I beat as I go and to protect the weave and stitches and specialty threads I use this piece of uh, wool 
and uh, I think that gives it uh, good protection, actually. And I got the idea from Stitch All The Things. She's using quilt padding, but I didn't have any of that at home that I could find at least. So, so now rolled up, it's very uh, soft with that wool in between. So I can recommend that and because it's a colored wool, it's not hand dyed or anything, but I didn't know. So before I did that, I took a piece of white um, fabric and pressed that with the, with the wool under some heavy weight over the night just to see if it colored, made some colors and it didn't. So I think it's okay. Um, so what else did I work on? Dragon and soft as steel. So that was the whip go. I don't know. Uh, is the 28? Maybe she has called the new numbers today. I missed that. I need to check. I need to check fast. Um, because even if I might not, you know, do that, um, I'm still curious. Whip go. 2021. And messages, maybe? Messages. Yeah, I missed the new numbers. It's 22 and 19. Numbers 22 and 19. Let's grab the calendar. I have my very beautiful Whipco board here, which I glued in. What did I say? 20, 20 and 19? Oh my God, no. 22, 22 and 19. So that's Mirabilia and Poison Garden, Chatelaine. Oh, I wanted to work on those. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see because we're heading into May and it's mania, stitch mania. And I have decided I'm going to be a part of this this time. So I showed you the Chatelaine. Maybe I will finish the Jessica stitches on the corner. Maybe go over and do the other cor corner. That shouldn't take too much time. So at least then I have stitched on it. But even this month, I uh, when I was uh, changing the side bars uh, from the mini dragon in the morning um, to what was I changing to? No, I was going to uh, roll the piece down, so I had to take the the side bars off. So I thought, well, let's give my Mirabilia a little bit of attention. So I did that for two evenings after work. So I haven't stitched that much, but I did get some progress in. So this is how she looks at the moment. Maybe if I pull her back a little bit. It's stitched on 28 count. It's the hand dyed fabric. I think it's called Ruin Moss by Crafty Kitten. I think it is. I think. I'm not sure. And I finished this uh, flower here and I started stitching and filling in all the different reds and pinks. And I also bead as I go on this. She's very beautiful. Um, she's not as fun as the others to stitch. I don't know, maybe it's because there's more blocks of colors. But she's so beautiful. And this fabric, it's so soft and nice. And it has a very um, slight, there is a slight modeling to it. I think you can see it. I'm not sure. But it's very, very pale green, like maybe sage greenish. So in my mind, 
I thought this was going to be like a red dress. So green and red fits very good together. Uh, but it's not so red, it's more pink. So yeah. So I gave that some love. I showed you that, that. Oh, please stay there. What else? Um, I think there's only once upon a fairy tale left. Um, yeah. Once upon a fairy tale. I have found someone on YouTube who's stitching not once upon a fairy tale, but uh, she's stitching the um, large uh, world travel bookshelf and I'm watching her videos and the way she parks a stitch and I was like I just need to get my <laughs> bookshelf out and do some stitching and I did and this is my uh, once upon a fairy tale so I just started parking and then I, I got to the top of this lamp and I was like that's some different color than all the gray and purples and everything what's in the in that uh, wall behind and then I saw on the picture that it is a lamp and I was like I need to stitch the lamp I need to to finish a thing and it took all oh, freaking day oh my god it was like one stitch change color one stitch change color two stitches change color so it was like real confetti hell so yeah i think i've got in about 1200 stitches total in a few days but it looks so nice yeah, I think I will stitch a little bit more, maybe like this part this evening. Um, but uh, okay, and this is stitch on 25 count, full cross, one over one. Yes, I forget to say that. Uh, and I'm having like 11 by 17 uh, um, Q-snap because the fabric it's a super size with max colors so I don't have anything to hold the fabric than that so and it's max, max color so there's like 235 colors in it and then you might think stay don't move how do you organize the threads and I also have a problem with that. <sighs> what I did, I ordered a thread kit from Threads, Thread Geeks. Now I can't remember. And I bought like one of these boxes on IKEA and I just put them, the cards, like the cards they get go yeah one card is already broken so the floss is falling off so i need to figure something out i learned however if you braid them or plate them as i learned it's also called then it won't tangle that much so i've started doing that uh yeah let's throw it away so that's what I've been stitching on. Yay me. I'm very, very pleased with my dragon in the morning. And I was starstruck because Randall Spangler commented on my picture. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> but he commented, comments on a lot of pictures and say hello to all the newcomers and everything. So that's very nice. Um, so what shall we talk about next? We shall talk about Stitch Mania. Ah. Yes. So 
Stitch Mania. I have no clue of how it started, who started it, why, where, whatever. I just a little bit of rumors every everywhere on floss tubes. It started 215, I guess, by the Stitch Mania uh, group um, starters, uh, bosses on Facebook. Uh, Garrett, I think it's called. And I don't remember the woman's name. Um, some say uh, it started like 2015 and you were going to start 15 new pieces, uh, new starts in May. Uh, some say it's because it was the year 2015. I've heard some say it's because it's half the amount of days in May. Some say just it was all about thinking outside the box. So during the years, everyone has started doing Stitch Mania differently. <sighs> Yeah, uh, I heard about it, I think, some years ago. I was thinking I don't have 21 heads to start. Uh, now I just happen to have quite a few of them. But I don't want to start all the other stuff. I don't want to start 21 Mirabilias because I want to finish one mirror before I start the next one. Anyway, last year I was doing some modeling. So I wasn't participating in Stitch Mania. But this year, I'm going to. And yeah, I'm going to go crazy. I have decided to start five new Heaven and Earth designs. Yes. So uh, during April, when I made up my mind, I was like, I'm going to join Stitch Mania and I'm going to start five new Heaven and Earth designs. I have started to kit up and prepare. So, which are the five designs I'm going to start? I will show you on my um, board. Um, my board, this, you know. Uh, yeah. It's going to take a little bit of time because it's going to, going to think a little bit. Mm. Maybe I should show you on pattern keeper so edit legend so the first one i'm not telling you in what way in in which order i'm starting um the designs i just i will show you the, the five so one of them is uh, Watchmen, Watchmen by Lisa Parker. It's the super sized and max colors. Oh, oh, it's not a very good picture, but I love these birds. <laughs> they are so, they are so cool. I'm going to stitch it on 28 count. Don't ask me why, because I hate 28 count, but that's what I'm going to do on that easy grid thing and i'm gonna extreme cross contra stitch it and i'm gonna start with black and you know the total design has like 53 skeins of black so i bought a cone of black yes it will, it's like 150, 160,000 stitches of black. Oh my God, that's insane. That's like more than my mini. Why am I closing it? I'm gonna show you more. Come on. So, and you were like, hello, where did you go? I'm here, I'm still here. So I've ordered some 28 count and a black, uh, a cone of black thread, 310. Um, so I'm thinking I'm not gonna manage more than that for now. So I will start with that. 
And uh, the next design I'm going to stitch. It is a design I've had for such a long time waiting for me. It's Eternal Promise by Matt Stewart. It's the regular size and I bought it a long time ago. It is such a beautiful piece and if you want to see more of it, go check out Nikki Croft. She has finished it. and. It, it didn't sound like the very mo most fun thing to stitch, but that ground with all the flowers there. Oh, I can't wait. 28 count. I have a thread package I bought from Crafty Kitten like a long time ago. So it's 28 count. It's not pre-graded or anything. So I need to before 1st of May here, I need to prepare this. I need to take my fish line and mark out the middle and count all the, you know, the fun things. And there is a thread pack. Um, yeah. But hey, I'm also thinking, well, it's going to be a lot of confetti. Yeah but I need to start it. It's been there for a very long time. Now it's the time to start. Um, <clears throat> so that's Elisa Parker. It's a Matt Stewart. And then we have a three, three, ah, let's have another finger up. Three Spanglers. And the first one is also a very old one. I think it might be like the second Randall Spangler I bought. The first one was Train of Dreams. I think this is the other one I bought and it has been waiting for me forever. And that is Treasure Quest. I just love this design. It's also the regular um, regular size. Um, I'm going to stitch it on twenty-five count. The magic guide, I think it's called. I really like this kind of fabric. The only downside is that it's a twenty by twenty grid, but I think I think I will manage. Um, and I don't think I have that with me. Yes, I do. I haven't like kitted the whole thing. Um, but I bought also a long time ago. I, I got all the, you know, the colors which uses more than one skein. Um, so I will also kind of either extreme cross country stitch or do one page at a time with these colors. And then I will just add up as I go. So that's that. And then one that I've been looking forward to. I think I've said that about all of them, haven't I? But this one I have been eyeing for years. And again, I mentioned that Nikki Croft, it sounds like I'm stitching everything she's stitching, but she has a good taste, you know. Um, Couch Dragon, also by Randall Spangler. It's the regular size, normal colors. Oh, look at that. It has everything, you know, everything. And I fully kitted this up. I'm also going to stitch that on a 25 count DC magic guide. And yes, I have 
I have a lot of fabric just laying around so it's nice to stitch on but again the downside is the 20 by 20 but I bought some water solu water soluble something pen so I can mark actually mark grid grid them by with a pen um, so I fully kitted it um, I didn't bring the box but it's one of those plastic bo boxes where I have bobbinated all the colors uh, and there is uh, 87 colors so eh, it's nothing <laughs> so and last but not least oh, oh I'm so excited I'm, I'm so excited about all the starts you know and I'm gonna hate myself for starting these so many I mean because my hate <laughs> these are the ones I want to work on and astronathis is not in here because she's a paper a pattern um, and I have so many more the last one which I'm also very much looking forward to is midnight munchies munchies midnight snacks and it is a uh, regular size, but it is a color expansion. So it has 125 colors. Uh, I like the depth. Um, it got a better depth umph to it uh, with the shadows. There are some shadows back here. So that looked better. Look at that cat. He's like, got some for me or what you doing, you know? So sweet. Yeah, so I've also fully kitted that up. Um, I'm working on... <laughs> this is not a good system, but I don't know how I'm going to do. This are some of the threads. I put all each color in a floss away bag. And then I put like all the 100 up to 200 on one ring. So here we have the 900 and then after that I have the 800, the 700. This is going to take forever. But I don't know how because I cannot fit 125 colors on bobbins and then in the plastic boxes. And I don't have these uh, fl flip... Uh, handmade sewn things where I put the bobbins in and I don't know the Paco organizer <clears throat> doesn't have place for a uh, room for 125 colors and this Paco organizer where you stick your needles in I don't get those to work very well because when I take one needle the thread on that needle pulls the thread on the needle beside and pulls away that thread and then I don't know where that thread goes so I haven't figured out how to use that in a good way unfortunately because I have a lot of those so I'm kidding this one up like this and I'm going to stitch that I'm going to try something new because think outside the box I have bought 18 count easy grid. It's I think it's as stiff as the other uh, you know easy grid. Uh, so I don't know but I'm thinking I want to try 18 count because I have some back thought of this I want to try that and I think the couch dragon and maybe actually even treasure quest I will do half stitches because that just goes faster 
But on this I'm going to do full cross with two threads over one. I hope that it will work. So, so here's more. So this is a little bit of haul as well. This is the threads I have left, I think that's all. Yeah, which I still need to kit up for the Midnight Munchies. So that is my Stitch Mania. Um, yeah. And why did this open? I haven't opened it. Oh, the bag was broken. I got myself another uh, eight, 11 by 11 Q stamp. What do you guys think? Are we looking forward to May or what? Yes, we are. We are. No, no, no. Anyway, um, so that's plans. And I'm going to stick with Stitch Mania. Oh yeah, and how will I, how will I, you know, um, plan the five, the five stars? At first, I was thinking four starts, and I would just make a new start every weekend. But then I saw the birds, and I was like, well, let's just do five starts, one more or less. Who's counting? Uh, so then I'm thinking you know, 30 days, 31, there's 31, but let's say May has 30 days, you know, divided by five. So that's six days on each project. Wish me luck. It's going to be so much fun. And it's starting on Saturday. Yeah. And I don't know which one I'm going to start with. So um, yeah, I don't know. Um, hey, what if you guys tell me what you think? Which one should I start with? And leave, leave a comment uh, below. So let's just uh, run, rush through all this um, haul. I don't know if I should, should I show you all the haul? Um, there was uh, uh, a big sale. On heaven and earth the 50 percent sale i usually get like one or maybe two um designs when there's a 50 percent sale and sometimes i don't get any because well sometimes it's just a bad time in the month or i just feel like i have enough but i didn't feel like that this time so i actually bought five designs and it was uh, the watchman the one with the birds i got the midnight munchies which you also saw and what else did i get um i got four randalls and one watchman yes i got the kitchen helpers can i show you uh, kitchen helpers this one got that one it's also so damn cute and that bowl i want to stitch that bowl there the chinese porcelain uh what else did i get i got midnight munchies kitchen helpers everything tastes a little bit better with chocolate chips the regular size yeah i love this as well Um, in a bunch of kitchen helpers, everything tastes better. Watchman, and one more reading time, also the regular size. Somebody's stitching it uh, as a mini on Randall Spangler, and it looks amazing. But I just needed it as a regular. Beautiful. There's a lot of green in it. So that's what I got from Heaven and Earth. Uh, on the sale, in the sale, on the sale, in the sale, whatever. Um, and I've been waiting a while for some shuttling kits. Ah, da, 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 da. Let's 
start with the one I got yesterday. It's uh, two full kits, a small one and a normal one. This is the Secret Victorian Garden and this is the Mystery number, hmm, Mystery Mandala number three, mini. So full kits with fabric and all, I wanted to try that. And I have the picture on the Victorian Garden in case you didn't know how it looks. And then, oh yeah, um, the thing is that in the Mystery Victorian Garden there's two threads which are discontinued. No, it's not discontinued. One color is. And the other one, I, it just says it doesn't, it's, it's not included in the kit, but I found it on Etsy. So I got two skeins on Etsy. I think it's, I think it's only supposed to use one skein. I'm not sure, but I got two of them. And then one uh, thread is discontinued and it's a, a little bit uh, thicker thread, I think. So I couldn't find it. I couldn't find that color in a thinner thread. So I found these. Uh, it's the Thread Gatherer Lavender Honey. I think in my eyes, they looked almost the same. And I'm like, well, I don't know what I'm going to compare to. I'm sure this is going to look amazing. So I got six skeins of this. And I think it's only called for two skeins of the other thread. But somebody said if you use three strands of that thread, normal thread, it will be the same thickness. So I just got some. And I love specialty threads. Yep. So that's included in that Um, and now I'm wondering why do I have some fabric? Oh, wait a second. I know why. I think this is from traditional stitches. Yes. And yes. It's 36 count, picture this plus Tyco. It's for the dogs, um, testimony, no, not testimony, declaration, dogs declaration. Uh, yeah, when I got it, I was like, well, wasn't it more different than that? I can hardly see any, more you know color changes or anything i could have just gotten a nice piece from uh, xu designs so yeah i won't say waste the money i'm a bit curious of of the picture of this plus uh quality i've heard a lot about it uh but i was like yeah okay so what's next as i said i have a little bit of haul um, also from traditional stitches, I got this design. It's called the Witches of Salem. And I'm on the hunt for primitive needle, um, damn, what's the name? Jesus, primitive needle. Oh, I'm so bad. I'm really hunting for that, but I don't know what it's called. No, uh, but it's like, you know, out of print. And when it's it, somebody selling it, it goes for over a hundred dollars, but I'm willing to pay a hundred dollars for it because I really, really want it. But somebody said, go get this one instead. So I did. And 
I would like to stitch this on the fabric called Blood Spatter, which Pam and Steph is talking about in their floss tube. Now, I have ordered Chatelaine stuff from Hawkins Hobbies. They're amazing that they're starting with this and helping us in Europe. The very sad thing is that Brexit happened and now the European Union members has to pay that damn tax and customs and so I don't know if it's cheaper or not but Hawkins Hobbies has a great service and I have gotten a kit from them as well with DMC so the European cross country cross stitch company doesn't include DMC which Hawkins Hobbies does so it's worth it's worth the money I haven't opened it to look what's inside but there is a lot of goodies in there and this floss tube is going to be so long you know you have the beads and everything I might do a separate video on this and you know we can open it together properly and I'm going to stitch it on I mean, what am I thinking? Black weave, but I need, I need that. And it is the Mystery 19. It's a bad picture, but it's this one. Oh, somebody on Chatelaine is stitching it. I think she might be finished now on white. It's gorgeous. Boo. So, and of course, I have one of the later versions of later releases of Mirabilia, the perfume, perfume, mermaid perfume. Have you guys seen the one who's um, converting the colors to black and yellow? Oh my God. Amazing. I haven't opened this one either. But there's a lot of specialty threads. Oh my god. And there is plenty of beads in there. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And I got fabric. I got the complete kit. Amazing. Oh yeah. Let's continue that and that fabric. What is this? Oh, that's just a cut piece. Okay, the last thing. Long waited for fabric. Uh, some while ago, I showed you some uh, fabric of the month club from Crafty Kitten, and I realized I have gotten the wrong size of the fabric. I contacted her, and that's what's so amazing about her that she is correcting the mistake right away. Seriously, right away. She has been struggling with the fabric, you know, keeping up with the month of the club. So the custom orders has been a long while. I ordered, so I got the pieces in the right size. They look amazing. I haven't opened them up, but it's a 32 count linen. So it's a 22 times 27 um, size. It's September and October. So it's the same colors I got before, but it's in the correct size. <clears throat> but this one I special ordered for my Gypsy Queen, my Mirabilia Gypsy Queen. I ordered it in June last year and I got it just um last month i think actually so we're going to open it up and this is the pumpkin patch it's 18 by 27 belfast linen so i hope it's the, it, enough oh look at this 
she is going to be beautiful on this. I hope so. I really like it. So, yeah. It's a nice fabric of the month club. It is, for sure. Should we take a look at the other ones as well? Yeah, let's do that. So all my fabric of the month club is just ordered for my Mirabilia. So we have the September limited edition. is really good I like this it's um, it looks very white um, or light I mean but it's not so light it's very nice the modeling is just amazing yes Let's take a look. And she searches the, the edges. That's really nice. Let's take a look at the last one. This is October Limited. so nice look at this so I think this also very light when my lamp hits it but the molding is also very nice it's a little bit like lavender grayish it's beautiful beautiful so I have two more Chalene kits coming they haven't sent it yet, but it's coming one from Hawkins and one from the States. And then I have one Mirabilia left. And I've ordered some, um, some, some bars, stretch bars, so I can kit up some more um, and have them on bars. And I've ordered um no two Chatelaine, one Mira and the, the stretch bars. Like the rods, these kinds from uh, Omnic Fabric uh, Omnic Fab Factory. And I might just cave in to the Gecko Rouge. I should have never gone over there. But I will tell you about that another time. So uh, that's all for today. I'm sorry it was so long. Oh my God. Um, if you would like to support me in my channel, um, I have a link to buy me a coffee. Um, I like what Steph and Pam is doing. Um, they have the buy me a coffee um, for framing. So they have started framing a lot of stuff. And I have some hates over here who would li really like to be framed. And I don't know when I will do that. But anyway, if you would like to support me or just buy me a coffee, I love coffee. So it will be very much appreciated. I will shout you out on the channel if you want, like. If you have a channel as well, I will shout it out. Oh, and about shouting out channels. Uh, Rachel Ray uh, mentioned Darcy. I went over there and oh my God, I that's a crazy man. But he's very entertaining. Go check his channel out. And then he mentioned, uh, yeah, and now I just lost two other channels. I will uh, tell you about 
the channels next time. Uh, and they're stitching hates, so. Um, but go check Darcy. Oh, and and what's his name? Noah. Noah stitching. Noah Crofter. Noah stitching maybe. Also very entertaining and fun and amazing uh, stitcher. Um, so yeah, for all of you who keeps coming back and uh, watching my and watch my crazy. Uh, unorganized floss tubes and stitch stitch with me and stitch and chats thank you very much it's very much appreciated i love your comments um i try to answer all or at least give them a heart and thumbs up and uh for all the new of you hey don't forget to hit that subscribe button because uh then you will see me uh next time uh yeah Let's stop talking and let's get back to stitching. Have a nice week and see you in May for Stitch Mania. Bye.